Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am really excited to bring you guys the next video in my balcony gardening series. And I wanna talk all about how to grow big juicy tomatoes instead of growing tons of leaves. So for those of you guys that don't know who I am, hello, hi, how's it going? My name is Anika and I'm an American living in London and I absolutely love gardening here on my London balcony garden. So I have seen tons of success with tomatoes on my balcony garden and today I wanna give you guys an entire guide on how to grow tons and tons of juicy, juicy tomatoes instead of just growing leaves. Now tomatoes are one of the easiest vegetables to probably get started with so if you are a beginner gardener, Growing tomatoes is probably gonna be the most satisfying, fun, and rewarding vegetable to grow. And it is totally possible to grow tons of tomatoes, even in containers and on a balcony as I have. In today's video, there are four main topics that I wanna to talk to you guys all about how to grow lots of tomatoes instead of leaves. So like I mentioned before, tomatoes are one of the easiest plants to grow and super rewarding. But a lot of people don't know this about tomatoes and tomatoes end up growing lots and lots of leaves. They end up being very bushy, bushy plants with lots of leaves. But to get lots of juicy tomatoes instead of leaves, you're gonna wanna watch my entire video and stick around until the end because I will not only tell you how to do this, I will be showing you in today's video. Now the four main topics that we are going to cover in today's video is how to actually prune your tomato plants in order to make sure you are growing lots of tomatoes instead of just leaves. The second tip that I'm gonna go over with you guys today is how to actually grow tomatoes in containers. I know a lot of people talk about growing tomatoes in back gardens, but if you have a balcony like mine, don't worry, you will be able to grow tons of tomatoes in containers or pots. The third thing I'm gonna go over with you guys today is how to actually stake your tomato plants and make sure that your tomatoes are growing nice and strong and upwards. When you are growing in a balcony space like mine, you have to maximize space. And in order to maximize space, you want your tomatoes to grow up instead of out. Tomatoes are naturally bushy, bushy vine-like plants. And in order to really train them to grow up and get the most harvest and yield from them, you are going to need to stake them, which I will go over in today's video. And finally, the last thing that I will cover in today's video is how to fertilize your tomato plants. In order to get lots of tomatoes and also juicy and super, super delicious tomatoes, you are gonna want to make sure you fertilize your tomato plants, especially if you are growing into containers. And if you stick around until the end of the video, I will give you guys my insider tip of how I grew 13 kilos of tomatoes on my small balcony garden last year. If you don't believe me, check out the video of my balcony harvest, which I will link up in the cards for you right now and down in the description. Now, the first question I get from you guys is how do I grow tons of tomatoes in such small containers? Now, I have to say, tomatoes do love lots of space, but don't worry, you don't need tons and tons of space to see success with them. Now, when I first transplanted my tomatoes from inside to outside, I did an entire video on this, and what I did is I actually transplanted my tomatoes deep into the new containers, into the bigger containers. But I didn't actually fill my entire container all the way to the top. And what I'm gonna do today is I'm going to go ahead and now continue to fill more dirt into the container so that I'm able to bury my tomato plants even deeper. Now, tomatoes are a funny plant. They love being buried deep into the soil because they produce more roots. So the more of the stem that you actually bury, the more roots it actually creates. Now, when you touch a tomato plant, you'll see on the side of the tomato plant that there are little fuzzy bits. And the fuzzy bits are actually trying to create more roots. So when you do add more dirt or more soil around that base of that tomato plant or burying that tomato plant even deeper, you're going to naturally cause the tomato plant to get more roots. And the more roots your tomato plant has the stronger the base and when you have a very strong base like that and strong root structure especially in container gardening your tomatoes will actually produce way more fruit so as I said earlier in this video tomatoes are actually vine plants and they're really bushy and they will naturally grow tons of leaves and that's just how they grow in the wild they have big bushes and sometimes even vines and they're massive but when you are container gardening and you have limited space on a balcony it is so important to train your tomato plants and the way I train them is I start to make sure I stake my tomato plants very early on in the journey of them growing and when you are growing in a limited space like a balcony or in small containers you want to stake ASAP probably when the tomato is about six to eight inches tall any bigger or any wider the tomato plant will get way too big and if you do stake them a little bit later you're going to end up having some sort of issue with the roots and then possibly breaking some of the roots when you are staking so i would recommend staking early so even though tomato plants are vine and bushy and they grow out you can actually train them to grow up and a lot of you guys ask how i grow so many tomatoes on my balcony garden 
in small containers. Well, I train my tomato plants. I know that sounds funny. You usually train an animal or a dog or a pet, but you can actually train your tomato plants to grow upwards rather than growing out. And when you encourage your tomato plants to grow up rather than out, you are then able to grow so many more tomatoes on a balcony or in limited space. The next thing I have to say is that you have to prune your tomato plants in order to get maximum yield, especially when you are growing on a balcony, but even if you are growing in a backyard, in order to get your tomatoes to actually grow and get more fruit rather than leaves, you are gonna have to prune. Now don't over prune, but pruning your tomato plants is another great way to ensure that you actually get more tomatoes rather than leaves. If you ever get any leaves that grow from the bottom or in the armpit of a stem, you want to rip that off. Now, when you rip off any leaves that are in the armpit of a tomato plant, don't worry about ripping off potential flowers or potential tomatoes that might be growing there. No tomato plant will grow any sort of flower out of the armpit of a leaf. They will always be growing from the main stem. So be very mindful of what you take off the main stem, but you must pluck off or prune these armpit leaves because they are just gonna suck the energy out of your tomato plants and you're gonna end up growing leaves instead of tomatoes. But no, really, don't be afraid of taking off a lot of these leaves because the more leaves you end up growing, the more your tomato plant is gonna put energy into leaves rather than producing flowers and then eventually tomatoes. So just take off all those extra leaves because they're never gonna serve you any good. As soon as you see those little leaves come in, just pinch them off or tear them off. It's not a big deal. And just make sure you maintain that. So tomato plants are gonna want to keep growing more and more of those little leaves in the armpits. And every single time you water or you are actually looking after your tomato plants, just keep an eye out for those little leaves and keep pinching them out because they're just gonna suck the energy out of your tomato plants. Also, another reason why it's really important to take off leaves off your tomato plants, especially at the base of the tomato plant, is because tomato leaves actually end up holding a lot of moisture and when they end up holding all that water and moisture, or if you live in a wet climate like I do in England, when those leaves hold all that moisture, that's when your plant ends up getting so much disease and possible rot and insects and pests. It's usually because of the water that's held on in those leaves. So what I like to do is I like to make sure I prune my tomato plants around the base and make sure I take off as many leaves as possible and I always water only at the base of my tomato plants. I would recommend that you only water at the base rather than watering from the top because when you water from the top, naturally there's gonna be water caught on those leaves and the more water that fills up on those leaves, the higher chance that you have disease or pests. So make sure you prune at the bottom and water at the bottom. So the next thing to remember, no matter where you're growing tomatoes or what type of tomatoes you are growing, it is super important to stake your tomatoes and create some sort of support system in order for your tomatoes to grow up rather than growing out. Now, when your tomato plants actually have flowers and they are producing fruits, it is very heavy. Big juicy tomatoes get very, very heavy, and it is so important to make sure you have a very strong base or structure for your tomatoes to grow against in order for them to grow strong and healthy and also produce tons of fruit. Now, when you are growing on a small balcony or in small containers, staking your tomatoes are so, so, so important. Now, you can do it a number of different ways. There are tomato cages, there are plastic stakes, there are bamboo stakes. I'm actually using bamboo stakes with my tomatoes, and you can find tons of different types of cages out there. But I personally like using bamboo stakes on my balcony garden because they are super minimalistic. They are very, very tall and skinny, but they provide the right amount of support for my tomatoes. And when you do have all your bamboo set up correctly, you can put so many in such a small space and able to support so many tomato plants. Now, no matter where you're growing your tomato plants, whether you are growing out on a small balcony or in a small garden, your tomato plants are going to need that support early and often. Tomatoes need to be growing upward. They are vine plants, so they're gonna start to fall over and grow in every different direction. So you do need to stake them. Believe it or not, tomato plants can grow up to 10 feet tall. So don't be scared if your tomato plant shoots up. And if you are using bamboo canes, do buy bigger ones. I used to make the mistake before that I bought the smaller ones and then I added a bigger one later. Just plant the bigger one right away because trust me, your tomato plants will grow quite tall even in small containers. And finally, the last thing I have to talk to you guys about today is fertilizer. And the one thing I have to remind you guys is on top of using great compost, you are gonna wanna use a liquid fertilizer in order to continue to water your plants with fertilizer probably one to two times a week. Now, I use a great compost 
compost when I'm planting my tomatoes in containers. I don't use any regular soil. I use compost. It's really important to use compost and not topsoil when you are planting in containers. Now aside from topping up my compost in my containers and making sure my containers are constantly being filled with new compost, I am also watering my tomato plants with fertilizer. I usually use one that's specific for tomatoes and you can find that at any of your gardening stores or on Amazon, but I also use a miracle Grow. I use one one week and one the next week. Again, you can use whatever combination of fertilizer that you want, but it is so important to remember that you do need to add fertilizer into your tomatoes, whether you're growing in containers or not, but especially if you are growing in containers, because again, tomatoes love nutrients. They just drink and eat it up. And in order to produce big tomatoes, you are going to want to make sure you are fertilizing regularly because when your tomatoes are growing in containers, they're going to suck up all that nutrients. And then if you don't top up or add more nutrients to them, they're going to end up not producing as much as you'd like. So my recommendation would be to water your tomato plants once a week with a liquid fertilizer. I usually use one part fertilizer and 10 parts water, but read the back of the fertilizer that you buy and they usually tell you how much water to mix in. Awesome guys, I hope you guys enjoyed my best practices on how to grow juicy, juicy tomatoes instead of just leaves. If you guys did find value in this video or you enjoy my tomato and balcony gardening videos, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up so I know to create more videos just like this for you. Anyways guys, I'm wishing you the best of luck with your tomato growing this year. If you guys have any other questions or have any concerns about your tomato plants, I'm more than happy to help. And our little gardening family here on YouTube are more than helpful. So please leave a comment down below if I can help you out in any way with your tomato growing. Right guys, I hope you're having an amazing day wherever you are in the world and I hope to catch you in my next video. Bye!